I met Abel first day of high school, and we just clicked right away. We had the same passions for music, fashion, and art. When we first came into the industry, and we told people we were from Toronto, Toronto wasn't a thing yet. This was really like in my creative space. Mentorship, finances, for creatives coming up. Toronto as a whole is just really focusing on development. Let's build a condo, let's break land. But as far as building the creative community, I don't think it's something that's a priority right now. Abel and myself were super creative high thinkers. Ahmad's actually a high thinker as well, but he's more business focused and he's really good at honing in on things and bringing it to life. I was fortunate enough to be able to mentor the likes of Lamar early in his career and we've always had that relationship where we could speak freely. Seeing Lamar actually win Forbes 30 under 30 and um, in the process of winning he wanted to give back and he promised his social universe he wants to build a facility for creatives before he's 30. I was almost shocked reading these tweets. I called him at 1.30 in the morning. I said, are you serious? And he's like, yeah, man, I am. I said, how serious are you? He goes, I'm more serious about this than anything else I'm doing right now. I said, okay, give me two months and I'll see you on the road on the Starboy tour. So I met him in Europe, showed him the ideas that I had. He showed me the ideas he had. He showed me the vision of what EXO always wanted to do from a legacy standpoint, and we put it all together. Me and Lamar, while we were on the Starboy World Tour, we toured incubators, startup hubs, tech facilities to see how people do it so we could learn from the best and also see what we could do different. And what we found was as much as these um, incubators exist, none of them are accredited, none of them have an academic component to them, but what we wanted to do is have people come in with an idea, leave with a product, but in that process that they're working with us, actually have some sort of credits earned for their time towards a degree. So we approached two schools with this idea, George Brown and OCAD, and they were interested in creating a curriculum and we were able to pull this together and design a world-class curriculum for the next generation of creatives. It made us feel like we were doing the right thing because, you know, we've really seen this before anybody as a potential turnaround for the city of Toronto. And now that the fact that we've made a home for creatives in the waterfront, it's just an excellent moment for us. I want the next generation to win, you know? If they're better than me at what I do, that just gives me inspiration to sharpen my sword. I hope they come and replace me one day.